cards have been around forever, so this isn't really a new concept at all. Venmo's not doing anything innovative, and I don't see any value added with this credit card. What do you make of this? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Venmo, which is supposed to be next generation in terms of the payment app and, and, uh, and a financial app, is actually using an old form of you know, financial tech going backwards, as it seems, to try to do this credit card. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Look, they have a user base of about 27 million people. That's what's expected in 2019. The problem is trying to convert those people into now credit card users of your Venmo credit card simply because they also use the app doesn't seem like a business strategy that makes any kind of sense. Why would I, as a user, uh, be excited about using the Venmo credit card just because I use their payment app and one technology has absolutely nothing to do with the other. Meanwhile, you have banks like Wells Fargo that are competing directly with Venmo by launching their own services like Zelle, if you're familiar with that, which essentially does the very same thing. It's a lot easier for a big company like that to compete with Venmo than for Venmo to turn around and try to compete with Visa, MasterCard, American Express. So I just don't think the move makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and with the Venmo credit card, the only benefit so far is that you're saving the 3% fee you normally would be paying if you were using MasterCard or Visa through Venmo. But this is really a very small perk compared to what the other cards offer. Is that's, I don't think that's going to be enough incentive to get consumers to switch. Yeah, I think that's absolutely correct. I mean, if you if you look at what other credit cards offer, I mean, there are so many different, and it's a battle, right? It's a, it's a constant battle uh, between who's giving you more stuff, more cash back bonuses, more airline miles, more restaurant perks, right? So there's this, this very, very uh, intense fight over what it looks like to draw credit card customers. And if anybody out there, and Christy, I don't know if you've had this experience lately, but if you get a credit card, you get swamped every day after that with like dozens of credit card offers from everybody and their brother saying, here, use our credit card. It is interesting that Venmo is going this way. I definitely thought that they would consider getting involved with cryptocurrency, but they haven't. And it's just interesting to see what other platforms they're trying to use. Um, I would like to see some of the big retailers like Amazon, uh, Best Buy, uh, any one of them um, to be using hopefully crypto or accepting crypto payments in the future. And I understand that uh, when there's a custodianship set up and there's a liquidity problems solved that this will happen and that's where I'll see uh, a bull market. Um, we have had some uh, as you can tell, the small uptick in the cryptocurrency market and people are wondering if this is uh, a sign for a bull market. I don't think so. There hasn't been enough news. But let me know your, your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.